Go to Freetown. Been a bit of a breakout star. He's been a bit of a breakout star himself ever since returning to the MWO. He had a great match at WrestleMania. He came close to the uh, MWO TV title at Redemption. And he's been very close, just inches away from gold every time. Oh. And two, this is going to be a rematch from Slamathon. Opening round rematch between Stitches, McVeigh, and Scotty Freytown. I would argue to say no one was closer between Stuntman and Stitches. Stitches was close to defeating Scotty Freytown in the opening round. I don't know if you saw the video or not with the coming into this match or not, but Stitch had strong words for Freytown. And I have just been informed we have a special guest ref. Oh. Guest referee? Really? I was wondering why we didn't have a referee come out yet, but I guess we got Abe Lincoln here doing it. To the best of my knowledge, I have never seen Abe Lincoln be an official. He's been a race really dog guy. And I've... No, no, he hasn't. Now I get the paint. Yes, the black and white paint, the striped black and white paint. Apparently the only people that knew was Abe Wicked that it was going to be the ref. Would have been nice to have you in the form. It's okay, bro. Well, it's fine. Enjoy the match. And Wicked already showing. And Jack Terran already getting involved a little bit in the match with Scotty Freytown. They would get him out of the way. As I was saying, it looked like A. Wicker was already having some trouble. He forgot to tell us the ring the bell. And a jumping back elbow taking down stitches. <laughs> yeah, I've seen the wedgie on Jacob Mercury. I've seen it in quite a few other people. And yeah. Wicked just taking a full opportunity now, ignoring the match. As we saw a Wicked in the battle earlier with Jack Terran in that fatal four-way contest. And Wicked uh, is encouraging the counting. We're supposed to have a five. I guess the rules don't matter in this match. I, I guess now Wicked is keeping him out. I guess you reap what you sow here. Airplane spin. Yeah, Scotty Freetown loves, loves to have fun with his opponents. I mean, he's told me a few things. He likes to mess with their heads a few times, saying he needs to go to the bathroom, whispering in their ears. That's heard on PW247.net. Stitches, though, he's kind of a harder one to really play games with, considering who he is. And now... It's a walking Halloween. Uh, like a and now house. riding a horse as Stitches McVeigh just falls off. A sleepy hollow, if you will, for Stitches McVeigh. <laughs> Great. Knock a knock, man of the mind. Scotty Freytown's really been taken down Stitches this entire battle. Trying to have the fans hold Stitches now. Um, oh. I would assume this would be a, a disqualification any other time. Even the kids are insulting him. <laughs> I, I guess now a wicked realizes he's supposed to be doing a count. 
Kind of a, he just stopped counting. Sitches though, getting the knee across the face of Scotty Freytown, getting back in this battle. Looks like he's just dropped the knee across the back of the head. All the weight going on to Scotty Freytown. And now the knee to the cross the face. Wicked being very nonchalant throughout this. We've already been seeing him just kind of. Count the three. Yeah. Big suplex there, looking like Freight Time might land on his head, but it took a lot out of stitches as well. Stitches back to his feet before Freight Town, and now stomping and choking Scotty. And Jack Terran now going after Scotty Freight Town. It looked like Wicked caught him. Friend headlock being applied to Scotty Freytown by Stitches McVay. Wicked though being really close, making sure it is not a choke, and then making sure Scotty Freytown will not give up yet. Considering what we've seen from Jack Terran and Stitches. What, what's kind of the game plan when you're taking on a demon like him or like a skull, someone who kind of embraces the dark arts in the match? Oh, that's a good question. Now we see quite see, I, a... I would kind of go with the Scotty route. Trying to have fun, trying to make it light. Trying really, if you have a good attitude, and a huge Irish rip knocking down Scotty Freytown. If you really have the good attitude in the battle, it'll be easier to handle the darkness that Stitches tries to put onto you. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, kind of, kind of um, almost evening it out to a point. And a lot of people don't realize wrestling is so much mental and Stitches. One of the masters of the mental game is we're seeing a huge Irish whip taken into the lower back of Scotty Freytown. Just working over that back, man. He had a spinal tap happen to him. Those kicks to the back suck. And Wicked now it's kind of smacking Stitches a little bit to get him up. Oh. Wicked now. Got a to him in with a release German suplex. I'm thinking Wicked's got to enjoy the fact that he's so close to this action, seeing Stitches getting beaten down like this. After Rama, yeah, I would too. I'm surprised you haven't tried to get any stripes to get in, in the way of Stuntman Mike yet. You no, know, it's actually not a bad idea. I might have to call the MWO board of directors. Call Frostbite. And a big boot across the face. Ooh. Scotty with. Blue Thunderbomb. And just barely a two count. It's just over a two count. It's at almost a three. Scotty saying it might be over. Oh. Bicycle uh -oh. kick. A hey, wicked, it's down. He was in a match earlier, so he's already in deep pain as it is. Stitch has got some. It, it looks like. Brass knuckles? It is. We are in Flint. Oh. And Scotty Freetown. Good night. But the official's still down. Hey, Wicked hasn't seen anything. Well, that's because he can't see anything oh, still. Right. Here comes Ken. Kick out. That might have been a three count of Ken Meadows was able to get to the ring a little faster, even if Scotty Freytown didn't inadvertently take down Wicked himself. As 
We see Stitches got him the butterfly, trying to set something up. But another bicycle kick there by Scotty Freytown. Just barely. Lift from the shoulder. That's all you need to do to really kick out. Really, I feel like one of the candidates so far was these two at Slamathon for match of the year. And we're seeing these two men going at it again with a big scoop slam. Scotty Freytown saying this might be over now. He's at the north. Oh, what's Wait. Jack Tarrant doing? Oh! All that work to do it had to happen to Scotty's back. You know, it couldn't have helped him at all. No, it couldn't have. Both men, though, staggering, trying to get up. Stitches is up first. Got him back in that butterfly lock. DDT. Double underhook. Yes, it just does get some sort of revenge after Slam upon it. That might have been the biggest victory Stitches McVay has had yet in the Michigan Wrestling Organization. And between the problems with the fact that he won right in front of A. Wicked, and here comes Wicked getting back in the ring. Oh! Super kick on Stitches. Jack Terran getting out of Dodge away from him. We go, he's, he's not done yet. No. Nope. Oh Swan time bomb nearly across the entire ring, across Stitches with Van. As Wicked just said, it is going to be him and Stitches at Summer Smash. These two might finally be able to finish it all. <laughs> Wicked lifting Scotty Freetown's arm. And he lost the match, but definitely the respect Wicked has for guys like Scotty Freytown, for guys like Victor Cross. Seems to be more and more obvious. He has changed his attitude so much since Jack Taron and Stitches McVay turned on him at Russell Rama. It's a better love story than Twilight. Yes, yes, it is. Everything's a better love story than Twilight. <laughs> We still got a lot more action to come. 